What is short selling? Well, in short, short selling is a method of making money if you believe that the value of a stock is about to go down. Now let's start out by defining what value is. The value of a commodity or service or anything is determined by the supply and demand of that thing in the market. How much of that thing there is and how many people want it. As these two factors change over time, so does the value of the item in question. So if you're aware of an impending change in either of these two factors, how can you make a profit from it? Instead of talking about stocks, let's talk about bananas. You're aware of something that's about to happen which will cause the value of bananas to go up from $1 a piece to $2 a piece. The way you make money here is simple. You buy 100 bananas for $1 a piece, wait for them to go up in price, and then sell them for $2 a piece, making $100 in profit. But what if, instead, you feel like the price of bananas is about to go down, from $1 a piece to $0.50 cents a piece? Can you make money in this situation? Well, yes you can. That's what we call short selling. It all starts with borrowing. You find two banana farmers, Farmer A and Farmer B, and you tell Farmer A that if he lends you 100 bananas today, next week you will give him 110 bananas in return. For Farmer A, this is a great deal, it's like getting 10 free bananas, so he agrees to it. You then quickly go to Farmer B and sell him your 100 bananas for $1 a piece. And then you wait for the price of bananas to go down to 50 cents as you expected it would, and you buy 110 bananas from Farmer B for a total of $55. Then you return those 110 bananas to Farmer A as agreed, you've now made a net profit of $45 by shorting the banana market. All you have to do is borrow, sell, buy back, and return. That's all the steps involved in short selling. The only trick is being able to predict the market and to be willing to take the risk. Now, if you do this with stocks, it's the same thing, but instead of using Farmer A, you use what is known as a stockbroker. The stockbroker will lend you those stocks, but instead of asking you to return more than they lent you, they simply charge a fee. In this case, the stockbroker makes a profit whether you lose money or make money, but they don't have the potential to profit as much or lose as much as you do. With both short selling and long-term investing, you take a risk. Had the price of bananas gone up instead of gone down when we sold them to Farmer B, we would have lost money rather than made it. Again, it all just comes down to predicting the market and being willing to take the risk. If you're interested in other topics related to economics, stocks, or trade, then commenting, liking, and subscribing are always a huge help. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope I helped.